I'm Tim Herrera with the Sacramento County Office of Education here with another Teacher of the Year profile. We're here with Stephanie Scholzkamp, who is the Teacher of the Year for the Natomas Unified School District. Thank you for having me today. Well, congratulations to you. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. So tell us uh, where you teach and, and, and what you teach. Um, I teach in Natomas Unified um, at Jefferson Elementary, sixth grade. So tell me about Jefferson Elementary and the student population, where it's located. Um, we are on um, the south side of Natomas, so our student population is very diverse. Um, we have a high population of um, Hispanic and African American students. Um, we have some exciting news this next school year. We are going from a K-6 to a K-8 model. So we're kind of excited to keep our um, sixth graders on our campus and have them all the way through to eighth grade. So how is it going to, will that in any way affect what you're doing other than just preparing them? Um, you know what, I don't think it affects um, per se what I'm doing. What I think um, it does is for those students that have been at Jefferson um, from kindergarten to be able to stay at Jefferson through eighth grade is amazing. We have some students that come from a lot of um, broken homes. And so for a lot of them, we are their constant. And so if I can still see that student who is now, let's say in seventh or eighth grade, and I can make that connection and ask them, how's math going? Mm -hmm. You know, they are going to be like, oh, I'm really struggling. Well, what can we do about it? You know, can I help you after school? Those kind of things. So I just think that it makes that stronger community for a lot of those kids. So tell us about your class. Um, uh, anything special you do there to engage the students? Um, you know what, I start the day with, um, um, by welcoming in them into the classroom, um, we do a knuckle um, handshake, and from there they walk in. Um, we're a one-to-one -one campus with technology, so they go right to the Chrome cart and they get their Chromebook out. Um, I post um, a very engaging um, written prompt every morning for them to write about and respond, and then they have to respond to each other. So um, once I've taken attendance, um, we stop and we kind of talk about their writing. And so we do like a quick little mini Socratic seminar. Mm -hmm. And that kind of just sets the tone for the day. So I try to do a lot of like life lesson things, you know, or tie it into whatever we're reading and different things just to kind of set that tone. And then we just go throughout our day. And many times we'll, re we'll refer back to that, our writing in that morning. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of one of the ways I get to know my students. You know, they share a lot. And watching them interact with each other is, is amazing. You know, and those students who might struggle, they have the opportunity to look above at what maybe their neighbors wrote. And, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I can kind of write something similar to that. So it, it eases their mind as well into the day. Explain the value of, of really infusing that much technology in the class. Oh, um, you know, I have been so fortunate because for the last, I would say, three years at Jefferson, I have been one-to-one. -one. I was chosen by the district um, a couple years ago to do a pilot program. And um, we use it through everything. Um, it has transformed my math class. Um, I do what I would call a modified flip. So f I also have um, about 11 students who are on an IEP in my classroom. So um, I'm able to, you know, give them information pre-teach before they come to group work for math. So um, I load videos up in there or I'll videotape myself, you know, to teach a concept. Um, but that just that's just kind of transformed the math for me. Um, and so I can actually pull groups down, you know, to the floor and we'll work while other kids are learning something that they're going to need to know later on. And then I can just kind of assign the kids out in group work. They can go back and while they're doing work for me, if they want to ask me a question because they forgot something from group, they can go onto the video mm. and rewatch it. So it's nice, you know. Um, I've seen it transform my students' writing by being able to come in every morning and write. Um, I had one individual who, um, you know, I, I had these same students for two years. I got to loop with them. So I had, when she came to me in fifth grade, I couldn't understand her writing at all. I thought it was like a code, you hmm. know. And to watch her transform because she was using a computer, so she was excited about writing. And she could easily go and look how to spell things. It just, you know, made her, um, feel so confident in what she was laying out there for everybody to see. You really nice. seemed excited earlier when you talked about the interaction. Mm -hmm. Tell me why there's so much value in that. 
Um, you know what I, what I saw so much this year um, with my students? A, we have been in the classroom together, most of us, for two years. So we really were a community. But what I saw was um, the students being able to, I didn't have to pose the questions. I mean, I might lay it out there for the prompt, but when we started discussing, I would have students this year stop and go, wait, but I want to ask you a question. You know, why do you feel that way? And then they would start, you know, and I was kind of out of the, you know, question. I was just sitting there letting them all debate, and so it was wonderful. I just thought it was such a, a neat, um, it's a lifelong skill well, to be able to listen. The world is. To be able to listen to somebody else, whether you disagree with them or not, and that was so valuable to me because I had students who argued in a beautiful, collaborative manner, and still went out and played basketball together. You know, mm -hmm. so they were doing what adults need to do, right? So it was wonderful to see that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So you're preparing students for middle school. Yes. So what are some of the things as a sixth grade teacher that you really have to do to, to get those students ready? Um, they need to be able to state their claim and support it. So that was one of the biggest things that I worked on this last year, I think, with them is um, if you feel strongly about something, then say it, but you need to back it up with evidence. Mm -hmm. So being able to, whether it was going into the text or um, Maybe it was math and how you knew you got the right answer. You've got to have that evidence, and the evidence needs to be logical. And so I think that was such a huge thing that we worked on this past year, getting them ready. So when they go into that seventh grade, and one of the standards is argumentative writing, you know, they need to know how to do that. And yeah. also just getting them ready for that different environment. Yes. Of the seventh and eighth grade. Yes. It's, it's different from It's completely grade. different. Um, and so I think, it's going to be it's going to be a transition for some of mine because they had me for two years, you know. So to have now six teachers is going to be you know new for some, but I think for some of my students, um, it's going to be wonderful because they're really strong for about 50 minutes and they need a little bit of break. So I think mm -hmm. it I think it will be good for them to be able to go from class to class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so know? how long have you been a teacher? I had this. I just completed my 21st year. So in my overall career, I have um, taught grades kindergarten through um, sixth, and I was a principal. I'm in Arizona, so I've been you know, in education for a while. <laughs> so what does it mean to you to be named as a Teacher of the Year? You know what, it was, um, I was quite shocked. Um, and when I look back at the video when they came in and presented it to me in the classroom, I, was, I felt very blessed to be able to do the job that I do. Um, I, I don't feel that I'm any better than anybody else. I think we all in the classroom work really hard um, just to be there for our students. And so to be you know, honored and acknowledged was wonderful, but I don't see myself as any, as any different than anybody else. You're we just work hard. You're representing other I, good teachers. Exactly. You know, we all try to present great lessons every day that are going to help our students. You know, we go home thinking about, you know, all of our classroom and okay, how are we going to engage so and so tomorrow? You know, I noticed that they didn't get this. What am I going to do? And that's what we do. Had you always wanted to be a teacher? Yeah, yeah, from from pretty much. And I think it was because, um, you know, my brother struggled a little bit in school, and I I watched what he went through with a couple of teachers, and I didn't think that anybody should ever feel that way. And so from you know early on, I'm like, okay, that's what I want to do. So how do you talk to those, maybe you have students who are talking about maybe wanting to be a teacher someday. Mm -hmm. what, are, what, would you, what do you tell them? Um, it's an awesome job. I tell my own two kids it's a great job. I am able to um, you know, go to work the same times they're at school, um, and then I'm able to be home with them so I can be mom as much as possible. Um, I get to help people. Um, it's different than being a doctor or a nurse, right? But it's that same um, sense of giving back. You know, there is nothing like seeing that, that student who has struggled forever and feels horrible about themselves, and for them to earn that first B even, and just to watch that, you know, is amazing. And so I love that. Um, I think that I get to still go to school, and I love to school, you know? So I get to take classes and learn new things. So to me, it's a great job. Yeah. Well, congratulations to you on, you on this honor as being named a Teacher of the Year for the Natoma mm -hmm. Unified School District. We've well, been speaking with Stephanie Schulzkamp, and congratulations mm -hmm. to you. Thank you very much for having me, and thank you. Mm -hmm.